In today's Escape from Tarkov video you will learn how to hit level 20 as fast as possible and why it's so important to get level 20. Let's start with the video. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here and I don't want to waste your time. Let's start immediately with today's topic and especially why it's so important to hit level 20 in Escape from Tarkov. Battlestate games made a big change to the whole game you have to be level 20 to get access to the flea market and the flea market is your gate to the big money and especially your inventory is not a mess anymore in theory of course your inventory will always be a mess especially due to the early phase of the wipe so let's start why it's so important to get level 20 as i said with the flea market you have a lot of opportunities to improve your hideout to make some progress of course and to get access to a lot of different types of gear because that's my first point to get level 20 as quickly as possible you should use some proper gear a lot of people are making the mistake especially right now they are selling a lot of different stuff vector for 70k slick for 200k hex grid for under 200k like 150 to 170 thousand ruble ammunition even the meta ammo is very cheap and that's a big mistake a level 5 and level 6 armor right now is so overpowered don't sell it use it of course if you are under level 20 you can do the same thing if you find some level 3 level 4 armor use it don't sell it to ragman use this kind of armor because it's so good right now same goes to some helmets but that's the topic of another video in terms of helmets and gear i want to point out if you want to get level 20 as fast as possible stop dying it could be so easy but it's tarkov and in tarkov you can die quite quickly so you have to make clear that you should use proper gear, weapon, armor, and of course medical supplies and your ammunition to stay alive as long as possible. Because as I said, if you die, this will throw you back a little bit. It takes time and all of that. Furthermore, stay as long as possible in a raid. And that's also very important. Of course you can, and that's an easy method to gain some XP. You can quest all the way. You have to go for one or two quests on customs, then you have to go on interchange, then you have to go on woods. If you try to quest, and you should combine questing with all of these methods, try to make a bulk of quests or stay as long as possible in a raid because you get search XP, you get XP if you have to heal yourself, you get XP for eat and drink and you get XP of course for killing other players and killing scavs and for killing scavs especially if you land some headshots you gain a lot of XP, you can easily make 10,000 to 20,000 XP per round if you stay as long as possible in a raid not till the last 10 minutes but you can combine this stay as long as possible in a raid with looting every hidden stash loot jackets and if you loot some jackets you get some very decent key i have the ultra medical key i have some decent only keys and all of that so that means you gain a lot of loot and you should use and you should focus on very specific uh, types of looting and i will make a video about that how to make millions right now uh, as well because right now it's it i had a pretty decent start but as i said that's a topic of a different video right now we are talking about how to get level 20 as fast as possible let's continue with this stay as long as possible reserve is a perfect example if you stay as long as possible you have the chance to meet the train and with the train sometimes you will receive some raiders try to kill raiders and try to kill scav bosses in particular because they will give you if you can land some headshots let's say we have killer of course and tagula but every other scav boss is very vulnerable to the head so you can land some very easy headshots and i would really recommend land some headshots headshots will kill them quite quickly so if you do some headshots you will gain a lot of xp from raiders and from scav bosses and guards and all of that killing raiders is pretty pretty good in terms of your xp from a raid and i would really recommend go for some raiders and go for some scav bosses and that's like a chain to my next point use your labs keycard believe me guys don't sell your labs keycard use it get confident with labs you can find a lot of loot almost everything on labs right now has a certain and very high value to the game and you can find on and fight raiders and they can be 
quite easily, especially if you play some 9 mils or some, some standard ammunition because they are very vulnerable to the head. Sometimes they have very low armor and you can hit and kill them quite easy. Sometimes as well you have to be very patient if they are triggered and if they want to kill you, they will kill you. And I've mentioned that earlier. If you're interested in a labs, guys, please let me know. Let's continue with, you can combine the previous step with this step buy a cheap night vision and focus on night raids. That's one of the biggest things you can do because you can go for night raids and I've played the last 48 hours in my spare time. I'm not a full-time streamer or content producer for Tarkov and I'm right now almost level 24 with these steps and I, I've played almost every raid during the night and almost nobody had a night vision, which is a big, big, big mistake. For about 40 to 50k, you can get a night vision with mount and it's so powerful. Scav are almost blind. You can go for Sturman quite easily. You have to be aware of his guards, they have night vision, but night raids are so good. Almost every other player during my night raids went into the raid without a night vision and that's a big mistake and you can make a benefit out of it. And I, and I would go immediately with a night vision into a night raid. I would focus on that. I'm using every opportunity to go for a night raid. You can loot very easily. You can make some progress very easily. Night raids are, especially right now, a big thing and you should make profit and you should make a benefit out of it. That's basically it. As I said, you can combine every step. Gear is a big, big topic and I and I will focus in the next days nine, 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 on nine, nine, the nine. gear topic if you are interested in it. So please let me know guys, what do you think about this video? Which level are you right now? And do you have any problems and struggles and all of that? Please write in a comment below. I'm really interested in your progress. And as always, don't forget we Germans want to win at least something. Your like is very important and I would really appreciate it. As always, stay safe and see you in the next video guys.